Yo guys, how's it going? IK Moto here. Today I will be cleaning up my 2018 Yamaha YZ125's carburetor and giving it some fresh hoses and a few new bolts. First, I'm going to give the outside of the carb a brush down with a water based degreaser to knock off all of the grime while trying not to get too much degreaser inside of the carb. A little bit of degreaser inside of the carb shouldn't be a problem though because I will be cleaning the inside more thoroughly later on in the video. Now I'm just going to use some compressed air to dry out the exterior of the carburetor before we throw into it. Next, to remove the foot bowl, here we have three Phillips head screws. I really need to get one of those JIS screwdrivers to use on bolts like these. Now I'm just going to gently remove the foot bowl o-ring using a 90 degree pick. Here I will be using some carb cleaner I had laying around to more thoroughly clean out the inside of the carburetor. Although they weren't clogged, I removed the main and pilot jet just to give them a quick clean. Might as well knock them out while we're here. Make sure you're careful when installing your jets, these really don't need to be very tight. Just snug, plus a little bit extra should do it. Here on the float bowl, I coated this o-ring in a light coat of lithium soap based grease to make sure it doesn't pinch upon assembly. I also did the same for this o-ring on this plug. I would say about 90% of the o-rings that I come across, I coat in a light coat of soap based grease. Now I'm just going to reinstall the float bowl. And now I'm just going to install our three new float bowl screws. So now that we have our fresh float bowl hardware installed, we're going to move on to the throttle slide cap. Here I'm going to remove the throttle slide so we can install a new throttle cable. Here because we do have a new cable, I will be lubing it up with some Motion Pro cable lube. This will be my first time ever using a Motion Pro cable, so I'm pretty excited to see how it works over an OEM cable. Now I'm just going to reinstall our throttle slide housing cap with some fresh hardware. Next I'll cut my new vent lines to length using my old vent lines as a reference. I'm really happy with the fit and finish of these new tusk vent hoses because my old ones weren't sealing all that great and had leakage problems. Quick tip for you guys, using a heat gun to warm up the end of the vent line will make it much easier to install.
Alright guys, there we go, our carb is all done and ready to go. Not only is this thing super clean on the outside, it is just as clean on the inside. Let me know if there's anything different you guys would have done, and if you have any tips for working on carbs in general. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.